a typical day at the country's healthcare centers. Nurses and doctors rose to handle emergencies. In the midst of this emergent activity, happening on a daily basis is the immense and constant need for energy to undertake critical health care services. Without power, uh, you find it difficult to run the services in any given facility. Yet amid ceaseless electricity outages, energy at the country's hospitals is not a luxury anymore. It is the reason behind a global alternative energy initiative undertaken by health officials with several partners. We've been doing other solar power projects with the Ministry of Health and trying to expand so that we can provide solar energy, reliable electricity, particularly for midwives, nurses in the more remote and rural areas. We Care Solar and Power of Gambia have joined forces with the Ministry of Health to provide solar power for hospitals across the country. What we are now looking into is how do we build up the capacity of these solar suitcases, you know, to be able to provide not only supply the labor world. 40 health centers have already been powered with solar suitcases that deliver 24 hours energy supply alongside other medical amenities such as headlights for nightly operations. Solar energy it's a thing that um, Gambia need to solve our you know energy system because um, when you look at the solar energy as my other colleague says you know it is user friendly. Welcome to the Briam Hospital. A solid and well-placed solar power grid is an essential facility in this health center. In this context, alternative renewable energy is an effective life saver, ensuring continuity and consistent operations at all times, particularly during emergencies. For the infant and maternity ward, this is a significant development amid emergencies that could go awfully wrong in the absence of energy. At Kianji Farang, community North Sadesambu recalls the energy challenges that previously hampered services. Before it's coming, we find it very, very difficult when we have patients at night to work. Community health nurses in other health centers restated similar views. Definitely giving a big help to the health facility, concerning the on and off of the NAWEC. Now, that's before the intervention came to their aid with innovative and up to date solar cases that come with solid batteries meant to last for five years. A technical health team has also been trained on the maintenance and mechanics of the solar power case. Um, this training is a very, very good one because we attended, um, we care solar organized the training together with Power of Gambia. So we attend the training in Ghana. Today, the team traveled to the Bakao Health Center to teach and inform nurses on the use of the renewable energy apparatus. A busy day at the Sukuta Health Center. Nurses and patients brought soldiers as multitudes attempt to access medical services. That activity is being eased and facilitated by a solar power case at the hospital's child and maternity ward. This hospital depends largely on donor support to meet its growing demand in the service of 13 catchment areas. Alternative energy is the way forward towards satisfying global energy needs, and this is more than a meet as multitudes and entire sectors face the impediment of electricity shortfalls. Officials at the Department of Health fully understand this as they move to saw up the renewable energy embrace using alternative methods to augment power supplies. Ibrahim Ajata, GRTS.